welcome. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Solar Scouts podcast. <laughs> if you're listening, thanks for joining us on your drive to work or to home or to wherever you want to go. Or if you're listening to us while you clean up. But if you're watching, what's that? You see, we got a little, a little costume action. You know, this was a throw together for me. This was a throw together for me too. I did this in like 20 minutes. And I found this jumpsuit. So. I keep I keep capes and stuff. I couldn't find none of my wigs though. She keeps a cape. I keep little costumes, um, and I, I couldn't find my up. elf ears. So if y'all just imagine that I'm She's supposed to be like, and y'all supposed to be like a half elf like from this, the Fae, Dungeons this and Dragons. So cute. The headpiece is just thank you. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Thanks. And she raised me up from the dead from Dungeons and Dragons, so. That's what I am. I accidentally meddled in some necromancy. I didn't mean to, and now um, I have... You have a glamorified glamazon ready for the runway. That's right. That's the story we stick with. Period. Um, so we got a short episode, but we got plenty to talk about. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Of course, we have our... Oops, out of frame. <clears throat> we have our tea. There you go. There you go. Oh. There's been a lot of singing tonight. I love it. I don't know. I love I'm it for you. In singing mood. I'm glad. Like, I hit the shower. I just be letting it loose. Just hit it. <laughs> in the octaves and stuff. I'm getting really, I'm really getting back into like my roots of music, mm-hmm. like my folks, on, it's only like my dad's side is all musically mm-hmm. inclined, so I used to do that a lot, with, like my dad used to break stuff down with me a lot, Yeah. and so I, I see myself getting back to that, well, good. I will never pick up a viola again, oh. no baby, I love these nails too much, oh <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my god, um, and here, yes, today is a special day, Yes. Tell us why it's a special day, Kat. So, I am, I fangirl real easily. You know, like. We know. Yes. I get so excited. I cry over stuff. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell a quick little story. Here we go. So, I don't know what year it was. It was probably like 2015, 2016. I was like at the peak of my nerdiness. I had just started playing Dungeons and Dragons. I was trying to find other women who were interested in what I was interested in. And so, please. (laughs) I was trying to focus. Oh, let me not show what I'm going to show you. So, I searched and searched and searched for people that looked like me who shared similar interests. And I came across a blog that was um, hosted, <laughs> created by um, this creator named Jamila Rouser. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. So, I like started doing this deep dive and, and I learned about Geek Girl Brunch, which I think we talked about on episode two or three. Um, and I hosted my first, I, I, so I created a chapter for our city with one of my other close friends, one of my other best friends, actually. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if she want her name on here. But anyways, hey, girl, you know who I'm talking about. Um, and so we hosted this brunch, and it didn't work out, and that's fine. That's no fault of anybody but the person uh, who owned the restaurant we went to. And it really discouraged me, but I was still excited about the, the space that Jamila and her friends had created. Um, for nerdy women and so I continued to follow different things that she was doing and I knew she wanted to um, make a comic and she released her own publishing uh, company called Black Josie Um, and if you're familiar with Josie comics uh, I mean comics Josie style manga is aimed at older women Um, that's typically how it's you know like showing us the little boys Mm -hmm. Um, Shoujo is for young girls Mm -hmm. So the first that she came out with um, With the artist Robin Smith Is Wash Day And when Because I think I signed up for her Oh sorry you can't see it (laughs) Um, (laughs) Oopsies I'm trying so 
try not to look at myself, and then therefore I miss the whole camera. That's why I'm here for. Thank you. Because um, I will look at myself. You know, it's funny. I have never been into any sort of slice of life type. Okay. Um, I don't know content at all until Wash Day. Yeah. And I mean, when she announced it, I was like purchased immediately immediately okay um and then not long after um she released wobbly 3000 um which i've talked about both of these on here before Mm -hmm. uh so watch day like i said is a slice of life and it's just following um two best friends um the main character following her watch day and her relationship with her best friends, which I'm going to mention something about Watch Day in, in a few moments. Um, but then she also came out with Wobbledy 3000 um, with the artist um, Sabby Borno. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. But this is this one is so much fun because um, it's like future twerking, um, 99 2000s you know back that thing colorful. up it is so colorful it's just it's cool to see girls like with locks and i mean and this page alone like we can all relate 99 in the 2000s you know you run into the floor and we dancing running sprinting <laughs> uh so i and just really <laughs> i really enjoyed the content that she um has created and the things that she's doing um for other artists mainly um i think it's black josie is mainly um targeted for black and brown um queer artists i believe well and queer artists um okay so now we're getting to the big news which i, I have a copy next to me so i'm saying i don't know she's so excited it's so i'm so excited so <laughs> She reached out to us uh, a couple months ago and asked if we would do a review of her new book that at the time, I'm not, I believe it had been announced when she reached out to us, but it had not been released. Uh And here we are. Oh, Takesha. Um, I was so nervous <laughs> when I got the email. I was like shaking because I was just like, okay. I was ready to go. I'm I know. Like, you ready to do this? And she's like, let's wait. Oh, well, so we were still new to this podcast thing and I've never done a review before, you know, other yeah. than just talking about like how I feel about a movie. Mm-hmm. But um, an indie artist and writer that yes, she loves, that I love, contacted her. But mostly her <laughs> contacted us. Was like she don't know me like that. Y'all please review, so I can understand why you were like freaking out because what? But yes, but well, we're here now. We're, we're here, doing it. and we're so honored. Yes, we're very honored. We're very honored to have this opportunity. So right off the bat, this is so good for like just any age, any age but like portraying that camaraderie between the onlys. We know what it's like to be the onlys. So we met at a predominantly white school, Mm -hmm. a high school. Um, I'm way older, way older than she is. It felt like. Not really. We <laughs> met anyway. as a school, so that means that she's not as old as she's trying to tell y'all that she is. I was a Anywho. senior, and you were a freshman. Anywho, I, that made still me feel met. old. We I still know. Met. Anywho, <laughs> but like we both know, even not even just together, but separately, we know what it feels like to be the only. Yeah. And so when you make that connection with somebody, and you're just like, okay, we we friends, right? Because we look like each other, right? Um, that even is portrayed now like I've been in work situations mm-hmm. where I was the only especially with me in exercise physiology mm-hmm. and you see another person that looks like you and you automatically think okay right <laughs> uh huh <laughs> so this actually portrayed the first time for her yeah cause they were like they're in the Netherlands um, and this is early 1990s, which let's just talk about the art style, how wow. it like encompasses the time period, yes. just like how beautiful the art is 
I'm just gonna show a page if y'all can see it. Oops. The art is so wonderful, and I, I'm sure I forgot to mention that the art is done by Trinidad Escobar. Um, and so this is my first time seeing their work. So anytime I hear the name Trinidad, I automatically think of Trinidad James. Um, yeah. I That's know. all I want to say. All right. Yeah. But this illustration, yes, it brought me back to the cartoons and to the books that I used to read when mm -hmm. I was a kid. It has that type of illustration, so that was really awesome to see and to bring me back to my childhood a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've been a part of a school all of your yeah. life, but I have. Yeah. So oh, this my. hit me a little deeper mm -hmm. <laughs> than it would, hit, it would hit some people because I've experienced this. Yeah. So the fact that this is happening in the Netherlands too, it just reminds you like this happens all uh -huh. over and everybody has similar situations. Yeah, like you find that person and like it's funny because I remember when I was in elementary school, um, I kind of had like a reverse experience where the first private school I went to was predominantly black. And then the, the one I went to after that was predominantly white. And so that was my first time being around white people. And mm -hmm. I was like six and I didn't understand. And it was so many white people that I found like the only black girl who had been there for a little bit longer than I had. And I was like, you're my best friend. I don't even know how to spell your name, but you're my best friend. Right, right. <laughs> We're just going to be best friends. Right. Um, on this page, I, I think I just showed it, but I do have to also say, I don't know if this was the goal, but this gives me um, magic school bus. I was just about to say that. Yes. I, yes. All type of teas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all type of let's go explore like yes this that's what i'm saying like it reminds me of all the older mm -hmm. cartoons and stuff i used to watch like the nostalgia came rushing back when yeah. i saw this so that was that's really cool it's really cool to have that like connection from the jump mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the way that their hair is done um it's just like it's it's so beautiful to see because like we were saying earlier this really is for all people because I can imagine, like, if I had a child, that I can show this to my child and then they can understand just based off the images the, what is being portrayed. Mm -hmm. But then even for adults, like we're saying, it brings back so many memories. Even just being in America. And, like, this is in a whole other country. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, it's wild that black people have these experiences that are so similar across the board no matter where we are. I was shook. Well, not shook, shook, but the um, the crayon. Oh yes, we do want to talk about the crayon. Boy, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> Old Grace would have called that right on now. Excuse me, the brown crayon is right, right here. We don't look purple. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your mama, your daddy? Oh, great. Oh, this this age, Grace, mm -hmm. did not play. I used to ask questions that adults would look at me like. <laughs> so, kudos to y'all for not doing it. The side eye. Yes, the side eye is so good. The like, side eye is so real, okay? Because we. We get the side eye. We did it when we was kids. Can we also talk about on the same page where this, this like attention to detail where um, they say because the brown crayon was right there in reference to the purple crayon. And brown, which we know crayons were often named after food, but it's so interesting in cafe because they always say like brown skin is always compared to food. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was intentional or there was a real crayon, yeah, that's but, what the crayon inspired, you know. Yes. But we are, our skin is always compared to food, chocolate, caramel. Mm -hmm. We're never just like, we can't just be brown. We gotta be some food. I also want to, while we're talking about attention to detail on that mm -hmm. same page, when he draws the two black girls, they kind of look like monsters. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it goes back to like the whole tradition mm -hmm. of parents teaching their kids certain things. Mm -hmm. And so they portray what the parents t 
tell them. Yeah. And so what you see, you may think the kids is doing, but they learn. Everything is learned. Yep. Everything is learned. So, are they teaching their kids that black people are monsters? Because I mean, Cause it's clear that the where they are different. Yeah, where they are is not a lot of people that look like them. Right. And so, like, I mean, and the baby hairs. I'm sorry. It's just period. Lay down. Yes. Slick. So beautiful. I ain't know they had jail. And that was, but we know today. <laughs> <laughs> they probably today. had to import it. Okay. Um, the bows, those little ball, yes. you know, ties that break your fingernail yes. if they pop. Yes. Hurt your hand real yes. hard. Yes. And just seeing like two little black girls playing with dolls, and just like enjoying each other's company, knowing that this is their safe space. Like, their home is their safe space, and when they're together, it's their safe space. That's really building a sisterhood. In the playground portion, um, that struck me, too, because instead of them just playing, she said that she also felt very protective of her. Mm -hmm. It's her responsibility. So even in that era, there there's always something mm -hmm. for kids like us to feel like we have to do more than just play yeah we don't get the pleasures of just having fun mm -hmm. because there are people who aren't like us who may think of differently of us so we have to protect ourselves right and so because she had someone that was like her she knew already what could have happened so instead of her going, oh, let's just play outside, she's like holding her hand yep. and telling her where to go, where not to go at an early age. I know. That's so sad to think about like already being in that mindset when you're that yes. young. Yes. Yes. But it's the reality but of But they are having too. fun too, mm -hmm. so it's kind of bittersweet. Right. Yeah. So yeah. This reminded me of um, a quote from the poet Warston Shire. I had to look it up because I never remember it. Mm -hmm. um, but it says there is no intimacy ah, there is no intimacy like that between two women who have chosen to be sisters Ooh. I know that's just so powerful Ooh. and it's like that's what this connection is, yeah. is we are choosing to create this sisterhood to create this safe space for ourselves um, even though the space which we see on page 15 is extremely damaging <laughs> Yeah. And very unsafe. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want to take it back to page eight. Oh, yeah. Because I noticed something. When she said that she showed Keisha around the classroom and showed her the best books that she had, I was kind of like, I've seen this book before, Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to look it up. <laughs> so, Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters is about two women, two girls of color. Mm hmm. And so the fact that they have that right. in the Netherlands is kind of I know like surprising. Was that so yeah. maybe is that part of her secret? This is part of her secret stash that she's yeah. always showing her. So I thought that was interesting too. And the story of Mufaro is really good. We just read it. Yeah. <laughs> we did. I just, yeah. to, I just tried to explain it to Kat, but because I never, I didn't even think about. The title in the book. I don't know. I well, you know how we it. talked about attention to detail, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, let me look at everything that is in here because she is really showing us what happened in her childhood. Right. You know, just like you pointed out the crayon. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about that. So, like, there are some. There's some great attention to detail about her childhood and about her life in here, and it is so interesting to see from another part of the world right. how relatable this can be to us in like America mm -hmm. or someone that's in Europe or anywhere else. Yeah, and and to think like have you did you watch the season premiere of Insecure? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not even going to spoil it, but Insecure is like so big for for black culture and culture yes. in general. Yes. Um it is like a, it has been a game changer. But it's really showing how difficult friendships are, especially as you become an adult. Like, you have yeah. to, you think that your relationships just have to, or your relationships with, like, your partner or whatever, mm -hmm. um, that you really have to focus on those. But you also have to focus on your best friends, you know, like, your close friendships and all, your sisterhood. 
And just to kind of close, because, I mean, we went through a lot in this, but I really don't want to spoil it too much because I really want y'all to read it and to get it. And we'll have a link um, in the bio where you can purchase it. But um, she talks about how this friendship was pivotal in helping her understand friendships, um, how to cultivate new friendships and how to create sisterhoods um, and how big just that little time they had together made this impact on her which is shown in her other work like wobbly 3000 is about friendship and wash day is about friendship is it we are not just ourselves we are also the people around us like mm -hmm. everybody around us influences us in some kind of way yes so it's like are you putting in good energy into that friendship are you like loving that person well are you allowing that person to love you well is that person loving you well is this friendship good for you it's just a lot to think about from the perspective of her young self yes um and and how big that friendship was for her so um just to kind of pivot into something else uh i did mention that i had something else to say about wash day um, she and Robin are also working on Wash Day Diaries. Okay. Um, I think it's set to come out next year, uh, but they recently announced it. So it's going to be a continuation of this slice of life, um, looking at friendships and, um, how they go about their lives. And I'm really excited for it. I think it's great. As you should, because it looks like it's going to be really good. Yes, yes, yes. Wash Day is really good. So. It is. But we also have some news. So, um, if you're watching this the day that it comes out we just wrapped up our um giveaway with manga brownies which was super oh, successful what? and when we're recording this the winner has not been announced but whoever you are congrats, congrats to you, to you. <laughs> so happy for you we hope you enjoy your gift I and mean, if you have not whatever. won don't fret because we have so many more things. yes we have other things coming out like two copies <gasps> So there can be two winners of Old Takesha. Um, and you should totally want to read this and want to have it in your collection. I mean... It's so good. I feel like... I'm just... You know, I love to collect things. And I just feel like she's going to be super big one day. Mm -hmm. Like, she's already so big. But she's going to... Like, you're going to see her name everywhere. Like and she's going to be like... But <laughs> go ahead yeah, and get what you, what you can. Because no. she is very... Um, yeah, sorry. It's okay. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on a mission. Um, she's very generous with the content that she's releasing. Yes, she is. And, uh, so the description, um, below will have the details of the giveaway. Um, because we have to work out some kinks, so don't, don't look for us right now. Look in the description, and also look on Instagram, because we'll have the details on there. So there will be two winners, because we have two copies. Dope. Um, yeah. so we're very excited about that and thank you so much Jamila for thinking about us and, and we hope that we did this justice this was a wonderful read and just the artwork is so good Trinidad you are very very talented and I just want to say Trinidad um, the back the back yeah, yeah it brings everything to light because the crayons and everything mm -hmm. Now they're in brown. Yep. Now they don't look like monsters. Yep. You have the brown crayon. Oops, where'd it go? The brown crayon <laughs> in the front with the pink because they're girls and they're brown. Mm -hmm. And then you got the purple one scooting back because they're not right. that color. I love it. Right. I, I love, love it. it. It's love so it. wonderful. I love it. Oh, Takesha. What a, just like, what a beautiful. It's so great. I'm not sure if y'all are still friends, y'all still in contact, but like. I know they crying. They gotta cry. You got to. This cat's about to cry right now. No, I'm not. I cry very <laughs> easily. But today, I'm but all this is I'm a all dry. Story. I am so honored to have read it. Yes. So honored that you have picked us to review it because this is a beautiful piece of work. Mm -hmm. This beautifully illustrated, beautifully told. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Ten We're out of ten. So excited about <laughs> everything else that you're going to do. Yeah, y'all need to go support and also just like support Black Josie, like other art, I yes. mean other um comics that that they've released there. Um and two, I mentioned this before, but Robin Smith, 
y'all need to watch because I got Nubia read that wonderful like everything that they're working on is top notch so anyways um speaking of Nubia <laughs> Stephanie Williams which I also mentioned really oh, okay <laughs> really they released the first issue of Nubia and my smart butt was like I'll get it from Second and Charles because I know they're gonna have it no they didn't have it and now I'm trying to rush and find it so maybe next time I'll talk about Nubia but actually our next episode if you have not watched our previous episode um we talk about manga I mean we talk about anime our favorite anime anime that we recommend and we got so excited and went on and on that we need to do a part two. Part two. So we're going to do that for the next episode. So if there's a particular anime or manga that you want us to talk about, within reason, nothing inappropriate. We, this is not targeted for kids, but we want it to be family appropriate. Yes. Um, so if you have anything that you want us to talk about, um, then let us know by leaving a comment below or messaging us. So, yeah. We'll yeah. have plenty more to talk about. And then we can talk about some Josie anime mm -hmm. and manga. Thank you for joining us. We um, appreciate y'all stopping by. Yes, we are hopefully playing Back for Blood. I keep wanting to say Black for Blood. Because we are black. Yeah, but that's not what it's called. That's for <laughs> blood on Friday night. On Friday night, honey. So check Twitter for details. Um, be up if, on the if you are listening to this before Friday night. Um, have a happy Halloween. Be safe. Don't be around any creeps. Don't give kids your adult candy. <laughs> I don't know why people think that's a thing. Nobody's giving children weed candy. Don't put razors in apples. Don't eat no candy apples from strangers. Oh, please don't do that. Don't take anything from strangers at all. I Give mean, them a punch in the gut. But that's the whole point of Halloween. Little children just take strangers that your strangers. parents approve of. Oh, okay. Not Anyways. no little man that's walking across the street like, hey, you want some candy? Anyways, that's enough. We don't do that. Be punch careful. Them in the gut. Oh, also, um, if you listen to this episode. I always like to give this disclaimer. Um, if you listen to the audio only, please go check out the, the actual visual since we talked so much about the Because we look good. Book. Well, yes, but we talked mm -hmm. about a visual book. Yes. Um, and I, I hope it wasn't too confusing, but maybe that's a good opportunity for you to just go ahead and click purchase on that um, book and just get it yourself. Yes, because it's uh, absolutely amazing. It's and amazing. you should do this. Everything that they do is amazing, so... Anyways, thanks for watching and listening, and we will catch y'all um, in the next video. We'll catch y'all on the live stream playing Back for Blood. That too. I wanted to do my Markiplier. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>